Chris, what is our third main topic today? This one's from Don Merritt. Hi, John and crew. It's funny that you guys mentioned what we do in the shadows on your show, and today we got news that it hasn't been renewed for season five before season four even aired, but they've also give, given the green light for season six. I don't think there's been a TV show that made me consistently laugh as hard as what we do in shadows in a long time. Like, really long. What do you guys think about the extension, and how long do you think it can run? I don't... You know, if my day gets brought down a little bit with the thought that they're going to end Ted Lasso after season three... It soars again, finding out that they not only renewed for another season, like we just got four is about to start. Not only they announced that they've renewed for season five, they've renewed it for season six. This is a show, what we do in the shadows, that I admit fully, I hated the idea of. When they first announced it, I hated the idea. Yeah, I knew Taika Waititi was going to be involved to a degree, but it sounded like a poor man's version of the brilliant movie. It's like, oh my God, you can't do this as a show, especially if you're not bringing, if it's not going to star Taika Waititi and uh, Jer, Jer, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jermaine. Yeah, well, Jermaine Clemens. Jermaine, Clemens, yeah. thank you. Jermaine Clemens. If you're not, if it's not going to have the cast of the movie. What's the point? This is just a pathetic grab at some whatever. You know what we do in the shadows had a moment as a movie. By the way, the movie is oh. remarkably good. Um, so it's what got Taika Waititi to the Thor movie. But I was completely against it. This is a dumb idea. <laughs> and then they launched with the first couple of episodes, I think. And my wife came to me, my wife Ann came to me. She said, have you watched that What We Do in the Shadows show yet? I'm like, no, I'm not going to bother with that. She's like, you might want to reconsider that. I'm like, really? I said, is it funny? She goes, I'm not going to say anything. I just think you should reconsider. You should give it a shot. I'm like, okay. I've never gone back. I was hooked from episode one. This show probably is the funniest show. Like, Ted Lasso, is, it comes with so many elements. It is hilarious, but it's filled with charm and warmth and love and smiles and rainbows. But what we do in the shadows, I, there is not a show that more consistently makes me laugh out loud that's airing right now than what we do in the shadows. With like, uh, Nandor, I think, is the greatest thing on TV. Nandor is like the greatest guy on TV right now. So many great things. You know, Gizmo, Guillermo, uh, whatever, Nadia. I mean, just Jackie Daytona. Everything about this show <laughs> sings. It absolutely sings. It's filthy. It's got some really raunchy humor. Oh my God, the episode with Mark Hamill. The, the episode so with good. Mark Hamill was so freaking good. Mark Hamill as a vampire, uh, a derelict, a deadbeat landlord a vampire. It's so good to hear them say, look, we know this works. And again, it's like the Ted Lasso thing. It's like, they know it. Nobody cares about the story of what's going on. I mean, finding out Guillermo's descendant of Van Helsing and is actually a vampire hunter, that's pretty cool. But we just want to see these vampires hanging out and talk. And they know that, and they're green-lighted for another two. This, this show has not slowed down for me. I've watched three full seasons now. It's not lost its pace. Anyway, Chris, you hear about this. They've green it for seasons five and six. What do you make of this? This is wonderful. This is my day. I love it. I think this is great. I love how much everyone on this show clearly is having fun, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Matt Barry is just a gift to us all. Um, one of my favorite things to do is make Logan say boring things as Matt Barry. Um, so he'll run around the house and be like, darling, do you need me to do laundry? And I'm like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Um, but so I, I love that. I love that the actor who plays Guillermo is so invested in this show too, that he does a lot of his own stunt work. Yeah. He, he wanted to make sure that he looked cool doing all of this. Everyone's so funny. There's so many great cameos on it. People are dying to be on this show. And I think audiences really, really love it. Cause like you, I, I was a little delayed where I went, ah, oh, the movie's great. I don't know if I'm going to watch this. And I haven't looked back since. It is a absolute laugh riot. And they can take the most mundane thing, like going to a Super Bowl party or a Superb Owl. <laughs> the and Superb make it, Owl, I'll never get that. And they'll make it so great. I love it. <sighs> Rob, you hear about this. What do, what do you make of them renewing it for seasons five and six before oh. season four even airs? Look, clearly, I mean, this show, what I love about the show is it knows exactly what it is. Everyone's on the same page. And like you said, clearly, Everyone is having a great time. I have to tell you, I bought the movie on Blu-ray. Not a surprise, right? What was a surprise was I don't think I watched it for like two years. This is before the series, two or three years. You know, it's one of those things where you hear about it, but you didn't see it. And I'm like, oh, I have to have this in my collection. I didn't really know why. 
just I heard people, Rob, you're going to love this bite. So it was one of those things. It was kind of like Spielberg's Lincoln. I didn't see Lincoln in the theater. And I, I just had on the, st- I kept moving it down the stack. I'm like, do I really want to watch a movie about Abraham Lincoln? And then when I watched it, I watched it five times in a week. I watch it every day for a week. That's how much I love Lincoln. This thing, I, I put it on and I watched the first 10 minutes and I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. And I went back <laughs> and I wanted to watch, I watched the 10 minutes again. And I, I think I've seen this movie 50 times and I'm like, okay, this to me was the successor of Spinal Tap. You know, that yeah. kind of- oh, that's yeah. a good, that's and, a good and, comparison. And, mm-hmm. and like where, where even though it's a complete goof, it still works. It's still a legitimate genre movie, even though it's complete outright comedy. What they do with all of the, with werewolves and vampires and the culture and all that and the mythology of it all, it all worked really, really well. And I thought that was fascinating. When the show was on, I'm like, eh. all you have to do is watch the first episode and yeah, like, okay, this is capturing lightning in a bottle. It doesn't cost a lot. The people that are making the show are, they probably show up with bells on every day. It does not surprise me that a show like this gets two, a two season renewal because this is the kind of entertainment that you want. To me, that's the way the world, it should be like this. You should be renewing a TV show for two years, you know, especially when you're talking about seasons five and six. I think it's well deserved. I think we're all better off. And if you're, if you're a horror or science fiction fan and you've never watched this show, do it. Go get the movie first because I think the movie's so good. Yeah. So the only question that I have is, have you conquered Staten Island? <laughs> that uh, is so good. By the way, and the guys at FX and Hulu, they know they've got a winner on the, their hands. This comes to us from the folks at Variety. They, they wrote the following. What we do in the shadows has been renewed for both season five and season six at FX. The announcement comes ahead of the popular comedy's fourth season premiere. There's a lot of life left in our favorite vampires from Staten Island, and FX couldn't be more thrilled to commit to two additional seasons of this phenomenal series, said Nick Grad, president of original programming for FX to Entertainment. What we do in the shadows excels on every level, from the brilliant cast of the surprising guest stars to the producers, writers, directors, and crew. We can't wait for everyone to enjoy season four knowing that the next two are on the way and again that comes from the folks at variety (laughs) they said it all right there yeah they they know exactly what they've gotten by the way the episode where they go to viva atlantic city i mean that that whole episode where they do the heist with the boxing match everything's so great about this show anyway guys question is for you do you watch what we do in the shadows if not what are you doing with yourselves? You need to re-question certain decisions you've made in your life because you need to start watching this show. It's great. It's been renewed for seasons five and six. What do you guys think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump on down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Upside. You guys remember a while ago, I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible, easy to use app for buying groceries, dining out, or even buying gas. And with every purchase you make at those shops, restaurants, or gas stations, you are earning cash back thanks to Upside. When I started using Upside, I was incredibly impressed with just how easy the app is to use and how easy it is to start accumulating cash that I can deposit directly into my bank account, PayPal, Amazon gift card, many different ways. And like I said, I was incredibly incredibly impressed at just how easy and simple and straightforward the process is to start getting cash back now. To get started, just download the free Upside app in the Apple App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code CAMPIA, that's C-A-M-P-E-A, and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Once you've got the app, just claim an offer for whatever it is you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a debit card or a credit card, and get Paid. Download the free Upside app and use promo code Campia Show to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using the promo code Campia Show.